Hello everyone, welcome back to my RP2000 career in Kerbal Space Program 1.12. I have made a grave error, and that grave error is that I forgot that we have to upgrade the astronaut complex in order to plant flags. And uh, Now, does the contract actually require us to plant a flag? This is an uh, important question. Crewed lunar landing. Um, no. Well, we are going to test out whether I need to actually plant a flag or not. Uh, it seems like a ludicrous requirement, after all. But so, I mean, as long as we set foot on the moon, it should count. And the contract doesn't say anything about planting a flag. And considering that planting a flag costs two million, <laughs> that's the only thing that... Well, I mean, we could have more active Kerbals, but I haven't gotten to 20 yet. Uh, I don't want to do that. So let's test whether I, uh, if, uh, that I don't have to plant a flag. That will be important. So, of course, we're going to try to do the crude lunar landing this time. And hopefully we don't have to plant a flag, basically. Hopefully we'll be able to get it done. That's another thing. Somebody suggested having the Kerbal's EVA to repair this. Let me see. Repair. Um, I mean, the problem is, I think I've got a fundamentally buggy version of the... <laughs> the O scrap anyway, because it doesn't really say anything. Uh, I think an EVA, the EVA is from this side, so that's a little bit dodgy. Hatches are obstructed, can't exit. Oh, well, but that's uh, because Jeb is still over here. Um, oh, I wanted to get ship manifest to be able to trans them, transfer them over, but it's okay. We can transfer crew like this. I thought we had the EVA capable one on here, but I guess not. Okay, EVA. But, um, I mean, I don't think he can get to there. Well, let's say try repair. Oh, it says okay. All right, R repairing is good. But, yeah, I've got some problem with that because we can't see the messages at all. Okay, well, Jeb is in the lander. That's one thing. We will land here, Mare Serenitatis. So I think this is, yeah, this, this is the Sea of Tranquility, but we're not going over it. We'll just go with the Sea of Serenity and land smack in the middle of it. And that's the plan. I, I mean, I, I don't care if we get really close to that or anything, but it'll be facing Earth. It'll be lit by the sun. Looks good to me. But I'm going to go around once. And it'll progress a little bit, and that's fine. All right. Now it's time to decouple and try this out. Okay. Well, Lemming is just going to have to hang out. Okay. These should be active now. All right. But let's not waste any. We've got 2,327 to land, which is not what I normally pack. I would normally pack 2,600. It's not showing separate stages, which worries me. That doesn't have crossfeed. Well, I hope it all works out in the end. Um, okay. 13 minutes is a long burn time, though. We seem fine on food, water, and oxygen. Probably too much, anyway. If I had ship manifest, I'd dump the wastewater. Should just get that in. Okay, descent initialization burn. And this burn will push us away from the Lynx spacecraft, as opposed to lander. I'll refer to this as the Lynx lander and the other one, the Lynx spacecraft. Okay, well, make Jeb's turn thingy might be a little bit... Okay, max stopping time does not need to be two seconds. And let's go for hybrid controller. Maybe... See how it stops here. Not very well. Okay, four seconds. Okay. Ignition. We're bringing the apoapsis down, that's good. Don't know how close we can get without bumping into stuff. It's 
far as ignitions are concerned, we have nine left with this one. Landing gear coming down. I just set it up for 24 kilometers there. So that's 52 minutes. We've got a 13 minute burn time. Let's say eight minutes ahead of time I need to think about this. So I'll add a maneuver there. Okay, we are recharging with the solar panels. That's good. So tumbling around though. This maneuver is just a timing maneuver. Generally speaking, we want our solar panels to be like this, or horizontal like this, so just get this exactly like that. All right, we are go for the descent burn. I'll get rid of that. And I'm starting it out at low throttle. Okay. We will have to pitch up and this is so that we have the time to do this 13 minute burn. That's inefficient, but that's why we have more than 1,700 meters per second. Okay, looking good so far. I should probably get this on terrain, though I do have the true altitude down there too. It's the only one that matters now. Okay, we need to pitch down. I don't need a target difference there going up. Oh wait, it's my, probably because we're falling short. Oh, okay. Then we need to pitch up more. I mean, as long as we're in the Sea of Serenity, that's fine by me. Our Lynx spacecraft overhead there. It is relaying us. So it looks like we're going to be 32 kilometers short of the plotted target, but that was arbitrary anyway. I'm just going to close this so it doesn't distract me. Suicide burn countdown, getting positive. Pitch down. Holding about 5 seconds of suicide burn countdown, basically. This is my goal here. All right, coming in. Pretty efficient overall so far. Considering the burn time of the engine anyway. I got increase the suicide burn count. Uh, 5 seconds might be a little bit too little. And we've got about 600 meters per second to work with here, so try for a more conservative landing. There's some nasty boulders there. Okay, I think we can go to zero on the pitch. Alright. It's basically just me screwing up time. <laughs> okay, throttling down. Okay, really throttling down now. I'm looking for that surface horizontal speed to get minimal. Oh no, the suicide burn countdown is going up. Uh oh, okay, I'm gonna have to shut down the engine. Okay, okay, RCS off. Okay, we're down. That was a little bit iffy, but all right. Um, gosh, <laughs> here we go. Mm, it's paused. Okay, auto saved. All right, EVA. Oh, uh, I, pro I guess I need a ladder extension here. Okay, well. And that's upside down. Um, 
Fine. <laughs> I mean, it has to curl somehow, right? There's enough clearance for a curl under there. Just, just enough clearance. Okay, we can't plant a flag, but we can do an EVA report. Keep. Uh, I guess we can't get a sample. You definitely don't want to lower the visor or deploy the parachute. So there we go. Um, here. At least we can get a mysterious photo. Uh, he, we'll say that he set up a camera, okay? Don't, don't ask who took the photo. All right. Now can we get him back inside? <laughs> um, hmm. I mean, if we can jetpack at all, that would be best. Oh, okay. All right, all right, all right. Um, whoa, where is he? Grab. Okay, board. Whew. All right. Screw the ladders. Anyway. <laughs> all right. And uh, we can do a crew report here, of course. And we can presumably transmit because our, our helper is still helping. It's a head. Um, we'll want it behind, or um, we'll be catching up. A head is fine. Yeah, a head is fine. I'm just going to launch with the descent stage. I know it's not orthodox, but we might as well use the Delta V while we have it. So, yeah. Okay. Here we go. We've landed on the moon, folks. Of course, I was just thinking the stupidest thing that could happen is if the ascent engine failed right now. But I, I think we turned off oh scrap, so that's the only thing that's doing stuff, or did I have test light? <laughs> um, did it take it? Okay, it took it. We just have to land or splash down on Earth now. Okay, staging. Okay, the ascent engine is good. And we have plenty, actually, for the purpose. Oh, and our ladder rung sort of... <laughs> sort of hanging out there. Only a four minute burn time on this one. It's the same engine as the descent engine, so... It just... There was just a little bit of benefit to staging instead of having one stage. Of course, dumping the landing gear is part of that. Okay. Alright, that is a nice orbit. And because the apoapsis of the spacecraft is higher, we should catch up and we'll meet up with it on that side where our periapses are about the same. Okay, so the target will certainly still be ahead there right now. Okay, target is behind us there, so let's boost our orbit. Oop, okay, that might be too much. An RCS burn was probably good enough. Alright, well, 3.6 kilometers doesn't sound so bad. Alright, on we go. The velocity difference is negligible. We're not crashing into moon. Um, checking all the boxes here. So yeah, somebody had suggested I should do a test run with this. And, you know, to some extent that would be a good idea. But I've done this a lot of times. At this point, I should pay for my screw-ups. <laughs> I mean, I, I've, been do I've been landing on the moon for like 10 years now. Uh, right? So... A, a lot of people, uh, you should, uh, you know, simulate it or etc. But no, uh, at this point, if I screw up, uh, I should pay for it. <laughs> um, I've been doing this too long to screw up, basically. I mean, really, it's just my screw ups and oh scrap. And I just turned off oh scrap. Oh, the RCS is too weak and the engine's too strong. All right, it's over there. We're closing the gap. 
Okay, 200 meters should do it. And we've got some delta V left in here, and I'm going to use it. <laughs> I'm going to have this start our exit burn from the moon. Because I'm nervous about how much margin we have in the pod otherwise. Probably it'd be alright, but there's no point in taking chances. Sort of hoping we'd be in daylight by the time we met. Oh, okay, there we go. And I'll just let this do the whole docking. Okay, I need a parallel. And we should just kill rotation, make sure that that's doing that there. Okay, and docked. Okay. All right, let's switch off some stuff over here. I'm not going to use this yet. And we got to lock the fuel here for now. And so we'll want to control from here initially and use this engine. That'll give us 179 meters per second, but that's not something you can sneeze at. Okay, so this way, and if after we finish the burn with the command and service module, I guess we'll call it, uh, we end up with more than 179, we know we would have been all right, but I'm not taking any chances. I mean, it looks like a pretty nice exit right now. In fact, I expected 800 to get back, but it's less than 800 right now because we're we don't have even a periapsis there. And that's actually, but that's uh, partly fortunate because our apoapsis is on this side instead of this side. If we were burning out of our apoapsis. That would have been a problem. Fortunately, the lunar exit burn is not super sensitive. So the fact that we have to decouple the pod and then sort of flip around and then burn is not going to be a huge issue. Okay. So that is the plan. That is not the burn time. So you have to keep that in mind. One minute and six seconds would not even give us 179 meters per second. Oh, before I forget, I should transfer Jeb over. <laughs> okay, Lynx Neo spacecraft. So if I say transfer crew, they're both in there. All right, supply-wise, we have plenty. We have plenty in both, really. I just want to make sure to lock the methane and oxygen here. Was it using that? Oh, it was. Ooh, that would have been bad. Uh, okay, so we only have 119 meters per second boost from this, from the lander. Not huge, but, you know, we'll see. If we end up with more than 119 left after the return burn, then we'll know that we were okay. But I'm not going to take any chances. We'll use the 119. Okay, we'll have to tr start a little bit early here. Okay, ignition. Just one minute here. Oh, it says 130 now. Well, that's residuals for you. Going back home. I'm going to leave a tiny little bit over here, just in case we want to use that on a station. Might as well have something in there. That's probably optimistic, but anyway, control from here, RCS, uh, boop. well, let me unlock this stuff, okay, those should be tilted out, okay, well, I mean, we have 986, but now the node is messed up, uh-oh, well, we'll fine-tune that later, okay, yeah, plenty, plenty of extra here.
And then we've got both Kerbals. <laughs> got both Kerbals. And I'll obey the new burn time. Okay, go. Now it says a thousand fifty five. Ah, residuals, who knows? Okay, let's see. Well, I'm gonna go for fifty six. And we're headed out. All right, up from the moon. 400 meters per second left. I needn't have worried. Okay, we're back in Earth space. And we are approaching Earth. Where are we going to come down? Probably, probably the Sahara. <laughs> probably the Sahara. I mean, they train there, potentially, sometimes. Flown over there recently in Flight Sim. It's not that bad. But I'm absolutely gonna save just in case there's some glitch with the parachutes. This is not the time to take chances. I mean... Yes, most of the problems would be... Me or old scrap, but there's also the rare Kerbal glitch that's left over in KSP-1. Okay, time to get rid of the service module. Activating the fuel here. Don't want that. Alright. So let it drift a bit. Probably still gonna end up too close. Pushing myself away from it as much as possible. Okay, descent mode. <laughs> I guess. I'll probably handle the roll manually. They didn't seem to eat much. Well, then again, this was food, water, and oxygen for four people. But still. I think, and we didn't have that long a trip. Uh, this for 14 days for four people. So maybe it's right. I'll have to double check though. Okay, well that's the service module. Don't worry. <laughs> Don't panic. Okay, well I'm gonna turn that off. Oh, the docking port. Oh yeah, that, that happens sometimes. Okay, but I don't want anything else exploding. Parachutes are still there. Okay, rolling this way for G-forces. Uh, pretty high Gs though. Lemming is having trouble. Okay, brief high G-forces there. I guess the heat conductivity of the cabin is too much or something. To be honest, we probably want the docking port to blow up because the aero cap might get snagged otherwise. Okay, coming down again. Probably will experience another peak in G-forces. Alright, past 3 Gs. Okay, we're through with not much more than that, 3 Gs. And it's a Sahara. Very Sahara. <laughs> okay, we are subsonic. I'm going to let the aero cap go. Off it goes. And I'll arm these guys. Well, if I can get... So it's been happy. It's been happy. In theory, once this lands back on Earth, we're done with that contract, and we can move on to bigger and better things. Okay, parachutes are out. They appear to actually be slowing us down. And full parachute deployment imminent. Okay, there we have it. And we just need to touch down. Alright, and recover vessel.
Let's just do a normal recovery. Landing mass was 6.56 tons, certainly not unreasonable. Okay, 16.8 science earned. I wonder if the science in the lander got transferred. Maybe not. <laughs> uh, we transmitted some of it though. Okay, Jeb is finally level 2. Takes a lot these days. Alright, there you have it. We did it. We can do other things now. Um, there's Mars. Uh, <laughs> uh, there's a new space station thing here. But you haven't done an uncrewed Mars landing yet, so I'll think about that. There's a crewed Mars flyby, which pays quite a lot, but it'll need to. Mars orbit uncrewed is still available, uh, uh, because that's a repeater. Collecting ore from the moon and Mars, but we'll have to get... Ultimately, what we need is we need to upgrade the R&D building. So I'll get that started now. Definitely need that. And then we'll see what technology we can get. We really need the drills for that, obviously. And we can't do ISRU without further technology. So, with that, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.